What is up? Welcome to another Urban Master experiment. So today's project is we're gonna change the brakes and rotors on my Jeep. So I got a set of the Bosch brakes and rotors. So this should be a fairly simple project. All we gotta do first, get the Jeep on a jack, take the wheel off, and then replace the brakes and rotors. Oh, and I also have a spacer, so that is an extra step. And yes, I'm using my emergency portable jack for this. Okay, before starting anything, put my Jeep in the first gear too low, but I'm going to disengage the rear brake because I'm going to change the rear rotors. And also since there is a little incline this way, I'm going to chuck the wheels. It's not going anywhere. And now I can safely leave the Jeep. I want to position this jack stand as close to the wheel as possible and then the lift pretty close to the jack. And also make sure that the scissor jack goes straight under the axle. Like that. Now we can lift it up. Perfect. And the wheel is off the ground. So now I can move the, the jack stand and lock it and have the Jeep rest on a jack stand. Still have a little bit of pressure on the scissor jack as a backup. And here we make sure that the, the axle is sitting perfectly on the jack stand from both sides. Just like that. And now I can safely remove the wheel. Even though I have a jack stand and a scissor jack supporting the Jeep, it's always a good practice to put the wheel under the Jeep. Now, as I said earlier, I have the spacers, so I gotta remove them too. And the spacer is off. And I'm just going to put the nuts back when they came from. The reason I'm changing my brake pads and rotors, I bought this Jeep used and I suspect the dealer swapped the rotors for the, for the older ones. Yeah, they look, didn't look good at all. My front brakes and rotors look actually practically new. It's kind of interesting because the front ones would wear out first. Now that we have the wheel removed, we're going to loosen the brake caliper bracket. These two bolts, and it's 18 millimeters. One on the top, and one here at the bottom. Yeah, they're pretty tight. Now that we loosen the bracket bolts, we can loosen the caliper bolt. One, and two. Okay, perfect. Now we can take the whole thing off. Yeah, you see that the rotor has this lip from here, has the lip that uh, was worn out, so, yeah, so I need it. to push it out. Yeah. There we go. Nice. Yeah, the pads are pretty much done. Yeah, this thing is so due for. And the outer is actually, has what, like a millimeter and a half, two millimeters? Yeah. Well, now I'm gonna install the new ones and it's all gonna be good. We're lucky, it looks like the rotor is not seized to the... Well, maybe I spoke too soon. Where's my hammer? No, it is moving a little bit. Oh, because it's like all like chewed in. It's a drum, drum brake inside, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can, now I can put my fingers. Oh. 
So I'm going to plan C, open the, the brake, the parking brake, adjust the window and push the brake pads closer, try to push it. So I think I, I put it like entire turn already of that nut and it's still nothing. All right, let's let's take a look at this. Monstrosity, dude! Look at this. So yeah, they were just riding in this stupid groove of rust and disgusting stuff. Now we're gonna clean this all up and start assembling. Now, let's clean this guy up. Yeah, it's nice and greasy. It's perfect. No, no dirt, nothing. But what I'm gonna need to do is do this for sure. Replace this little clips. So this is garbage. My new brakes came with a nice set of new hardware. Let's get the brakes installed. <coughs> Hopefully you didn't get that. Four here and four here. Like I said, I got a set of QuietCast Bosch brake pads and there was, there's a review that showed that they were chipped off but they looked pretty good and it also includes the, the brand new hardware so looks like a really good deal to me like that so that we have the two the lips two lips kind of outside and this little pointy guy is pointing it was like this right so they pointing outside so this would be the bottom part Okay, let me loop it up. And now they should just snap in like this and like that. Right? Okay. So just we have it. We have it like that. Same thing on this side. Just snap it in like that, and now I'm gonna grease the insides of these clips for the brakes to to slide in. Only two of these have have the wear indicator, and the other two don't. So I'm gonna use one for, on each. Okay, so it's gonna be facing like this way and uh, the wear indicator was going to be on the inside caliper so this one goes in here okay nice one let's get back okay one and two all right so this thing is ready let's look at the caliper and where's my caliper spreading tool? Spray it just a little bit. Hopefully not spray, not spraying it too much on that rubber boot. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's all the way at the bottom. Okay, put it, put it here. Now, let's install the rotor. Anti seize base, just like chopstick.
I'm not going too crazy with that. Just a little bit crazy. And that's it. Next we're gonna do the rotor. Really nice looking rotor. Spray it from the back a little bit. The moment of truth number one. Not bad. Actually, this thing looks very anti seizable to me, as is. I mean, the rotor itself. So now we are ready to install the bracket, but I'm going to put some blue Loctite on this. And get it going. And we'll do the same thing with the, with the bottom one. And get it in all the way. And now we can install the caliper, but before going for it, we put the grease on all the points that actually touch the brake pads. Let's see if it fits. Oh yeah, fits nice. And we're gonna put some Loctite on this as well. Just gonna put a good amount on this for a good measure. Now we can put it. So the torque for the caliper bolts is 26 foot pounds. One, two, and uh, the brackets go for 55 foot pounds. One, two, and now the last step is on this side, I'm going to clean the rotor. Now I'm going to install my spacer bag. Now the spacers are installed at 90 foot pounds. Perfect. Just gonna put this wheel on. Now the wheel is gonna go for 95 foot pounds. All right, the passenger side is officially done. Okay, so now we just install the wheel and it's all ready. And we're gonna start with the second wheel. It's pretty much gonna be exactly the same thing, except the mirror image of that. And hopefully it's not gonna be as painful with the, with the rotor and the parking brake. We'll see. and a spacer is off. So far we're doing a good timing. <laughs> it's looking better, but still, look at this. Look at this rust.
Perfect. And now we can install this bracket. One, two, one, two. Now we're gonna wipe the rotors, the outer face. Done. So that is it. Another urban project. We just changed the brakes and rotors on the back of my Jeep. Take it easy, guys.